Well, what started as a Christmas toy drive in South Carolina and Colorado for poor children has now become a national controversy. A secular group threatened to sue, and the schools shut down their toy drives. Joining me now, the man behind the lawsuit threat, Roy Speckhardt, who's the executive director of the American Humanist Association. Roy, good to see you. Thanks for Thank being for here. Me on. All right, so I appreciate it. what exactly is it about a toy drive for needy children that upset you? Well, it's what it's behind it. This is actually an effort to proselytize these poor kids. These t gifts are gifts with strings attached. Um, the they come with uh, religious tracts and a, even a place for kids to sign off on that they've converted to this particular brand of Christianity. All right, let me jump and in and tell the viewers because the schools we were putting the school. It was schools. student, you know, it was a, a student. Uh, the students were putting the boxes together uh, for, with the toys true, and so on. True. And then right. this Christian organization, this evangelical group, would ship off the, the shoe boxes, right? But you're not claiming that the right. schools themselves put anything religious in those boxes or did anything religious, are you? No, the, their participation in the program is the problem, though. They could choose a more neutral program like Toys for Tots, but they didn't. In this case, it's the fact. Uh, is it the now. fact that they partnered with an evangelical group alone, or is it the fact that you say the evangelical group put, you know, Christian messages in the shoeboxes? It's the fact that they've partnered with an evangelical group. That the whole program is designed to convert kids. If you check out, you know, Operation Christmas Child's website, they'll talk about the number of kids they've tried to convert and how many they've successfully converted with this program. Okay. And that's not something that should run through public schools. Now, and you claim that they put a little uh, pamphlet in the shoebox that, and we have a, mm -hmm. a pullout of it. Now, we, we couldn't confirm this independently, but you are representing to us and to our viewers that this was placed inside some of these shoe box or boxes or all of them. Um, we don't know for sure. Uh, it appears that they're placed in all of them. I mean, the website and their description of what they intend to do um, it wouldn't work unless they put them in all the boxes. So clearly, that's all right, so let's the goal see. All of right, what so, they're trying to do. So, I, so if you have a school that's partnering with an evangelical group that's sending out these toy boxes, and it's got a pledge inside that the students, that the recipients are supposed to take, you know, pledging that they'll be a good Christian or that they'll join the Christian faith, that's one thing. But, but the fact that you're objecting to just mere partnership with an evangelical group is another thing entirely. And the question I have for you now, now, Roy, is the schools folded. All right, for whatever reason. They said that they didn't have the money to fight you. So they folded. So now, what are you doing well, to try to fill the gap so that the students they were sending, the, the children they were sending those gifts to, those boxes, are getting something? Mm -hmm. Well, we recommend they do use a neutral program like Toys for Tots. But what, are you, what is your uh, group they, doing? But they didn't just fold. I mean, there was a story out from the principal of the school in Colorado um, admitting that their position was indefensible. It wasn't just that they couldn't take the lawsuit. And then that they was denied. That the, were, and then they, they denied the that. I, I read that too, but then they denied that. But listen, what is your group, now that you've managed to cancel the, the program to help the needy children, what, what exactly is your humanist group doing to, to help those children? Well, we're an advocacy group, not a charitable group, although we do engage in charity from time to time. In so fact, nothing? Uh, we just sent about $30,000 over to uh, the Philippines to support that's uh, wonderful. But, there. but what are you doing for the but, children um, who are now not, not going to get the toys in the boxes? Yeah. <laughs> um, our program is designed to help the kids to have a clean, neutral, fr free of church state violation. So you have helped, experience you have helped in doing them, you have helped save them from the constitutional the, the violation. Fact. And that will be a warm comfort to them on Christmas morning. Roy, thanks for being here with your story. <laughs>